Hi, I'm George Pearson, and in this Photoshop Elements video, we'll be making this Be Mine style Valentine card. Now, if you like this video, make sure you click that like button, and of course, share with your friends through social media. Just click on share right down below. Very important to do that as this channel survives because of all the shares that I get. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and if you really want to learn how to use Photoshop Elements, Take a look at my training course and you'll find a link right down there in the description. Okay, let's get to it. This Valentine's Day card is made completely here inside of Photoshop Elements except for the typeface right here that says Be Mine. Now I'm using for this one Edwardian script. Let me just bring this down a little bit like that and we'll grab the type. Here we go, Edwardian script. It's a standard one that I've used in the past quite a few times. I tend to like this one for cards a lot. You may already have this if you followed any of my previous videos using this typeface. If not, let me show you where you will find it. And it's here at a site called defauntfree.net and there's a link right up here. I'll put this link on the video support page I have. You'll find a link for that, of course, in the description. You can then just click right here and go right to the page. If not, just go to defauntfree.net and do a search for Edwardian script and you'll find this. Okay, once you're here, you'll find the download right there. It's the blue one with the cloud on it. That's the one you want to use. That's an ad. That's an ad. Ignore those things. Go for the blue button right there with the cloud. This will download as a zip file and once you have unzipped the file. It'll look like this. There's the actual typeface. Simply right click on that and choose install to install onto your computer. Now make sure you do this when you are not running Photoshop Elements because it's going to read your font list when it starts up and you'll then see it in your font list. So make sure that Elements is closed before you install the font. Okay, back to the project. Here we go. So there it is. Pretty straightforward, easy to do. Let's just set this at fit in window right there. Just a few things here of course that typeface up here. The heart is the hardest part of this. A few little steps on that. Not really difficult. It's actually a pretty easy project. And all this stuff in the background. This is just a standard background that comes here with Photoshop Elements. So I'll show you how to use that and then how to adjust that so you actually see things. It's really kind of a dark red when you normally install. But we'll adjust that as you can see this. And it includes that love right there. Big L O V E. That's all part of that background. Okay, let's go ahead and start this. I'm just going to close this one now and I'll just do a save first. Get that out of the way. There we go. And then let's try a brand new file. File, new, blank file. I have mine set for the default Photoshop Elements size right there. It's width of 6, height of 4, resolution of 300, which is your printing resolution. And choose OK. That can just be docked like that. All right, so far, so good. We need to know where the center of the page is. Let's go ahead and set that up. First off, make sure you have rulers showing right here. And let's put in a couple of new guides. Now, because we're six wide, three will be your vertical, and we're four tall, so two will be your horizontal. So, new guide. We'll do our vertical first and set this at three inches. There it is. And then new guide, horizontal, and set that at two inches, and there's, there's our center point. Okay, now come down to the graphics, bottom right hand corner right there. There's your graphics. I have it set at by type, and then change this to shapes. And we'll find our heart shape in here. We're at the very top right now, and it's down quite a ways. I'm just gonna scroll down using the wheel on my mouse, and we'll scroll way, way down. There's one heart, if you like this one, that has kind of a rough edge on it, it's kind of a nice heart but not the one we're using for this project. Although I do like that one quite a bit. It looks good on, on some projects. There's all our frames, ignore all that stuff. And here we go, down below that goose right there. That's the one you watch, it's just called Heart Card. Now before you bring this in, let's make sure we have the right colors. So bottom left-hand corner, here's your colors. Click on that little icon right there, that set these up their default settings, which is black in front, and that's all we need. And then click on this, that should I'll load that in and it should be centered. There we go. We can just double check that. Let's now go back to layers. Make sure you're on that shape layer. Hold the control T keyboard shortcut 
and you'll see the control handles and you should see that that's centered and it is that's just exactly right now it's a little bit too small for our project I want to have it about half the size of the overall page and then it's just centered again so to do that let's just take it and move it straight up until it's against the top of the page right there that's pretty good now let's bring back up those control handles control T and then pull the corner down until you come down to that center line. So that's half the page in height. We can then bring this right back on your center. And it should snap right to that center point at that point. So that should snap right to your center. Okay, let's just double check that. If you're not snapping, come down to Snap To and make sure that Snap To Guides is checked right there. Okay, this will be the basic shape of the hardware basic position and we'll then do a little bit smaller version of this. So grab the shape up here, make a copy like that. Here's your copy. I'm going to hide the original just for a second. It'll just confuse us having two blacks on top of each other. So go up here to this one. Again, Control T, keyboard shortcut. And then grab your upper left hand corner and pull it down just a bit until it's just about at 90%. You can even type that in down here if you want to and make sure that constraint proportions is checked. I'll just put in 90%, hit the enter key. There we go. So it's just a little bit smaller. And I'll show our back one again. There it is. You kind of see the back outline in behind it. And you look at the bottom down here. The little thin outline, this is just showing you where that shape is, which is fine. Okay, to zoom in on the bottom and then pull that straight down until the bottom bottom part just just about touches the bottom of the one in behind. So you'll see a real thin bit in here and at the top you'll see a much wider bit up around there. Okay that's all set. Let's go ahead and go back to fit screen. Let's now make a copy of this top one. Just pull it up here to the new layer button. There's your copy. Just hide that right now. We'll come back to that in just a little bit. Okay back to this shape. Let's now put in our coloration into our main heart. We'll do that with a new background change. Come down to graphics again and change this over to backgrounds. Now there are a lot of backgrounds you can use in here. We'll be using this one as our final background. We'll come back to that in just a little bit. It's called Love. Notice in your background that some of these have a little blue triangle on there. That means that they're not currently on your computer. They're currently up online. And that's the way that Elements runs. It puts things or keeps things online until you use them the first time, then it downloads them onto your computer from then on. So if you see a little blue corner, it'll take it just a minute to download or less, but you have to have a currently active internet connection to do that. Okay, I'm just going to scroll up just a bit from here. And here's another nice one called Hearts right there, also very good. This is kind of a, a, a more kid style. You can use that one as well as your final background. That's fine. That looks good. So there are quite a few of these backgrounds that can be used. Anything that's in kind of the red range. Flourish Heart looks nice on it. That's also a good option. So again, there are quite a few of these you can use as a background for different options. Just go for something that's kind of in a nice red realm or that has hearts in it and you'll be just fine. And different backgrounds will give you a whole different effects. So we'll look at this one a little later on so you see how it changes the effect of the whole project just by changing that background. Okay, but the one we want right now is further down the list and it's right down here it's called red silk you'll see this it's oh about three quarters of the way down and you'll come past these things here and this picture of these this guy and his kid possibly in there so see those first see these little curtain things and it's right there click on that and that changes this to the background. So we'll go back over to layers and you'll see the layer now has changed, the background layer has changed to this red silk. Now we need this someplace else and not in the background. So take this and drag it up here, make a duplicate of that one, and then pull this above where it says shape one copy. That's our main heart shape. Pull it above that one right there. Now if you right click where it says background, right click on the name, and choose create clipping mask. This moves that inside of that one heart right down there. Now we're still seeing the background in behind. So let's change our background again. Back to our graphics and I'll scroll up and I'll go to the one that I'm planning on using in here. And that's just a little bit further up here. 
and it's right there. It's just called love. It actually says love on it, and there it is. It says love right there. Okay, getting better. We can now hide these crosshairs. We're done with that for the moment. I'll just uncheck guides. We don't see those. And back to layers again. Now with this heart in here, you get this kind of a little bit of a silky look in there. If you grab that layer up here, you can then move that around until you find a part that you like. I kind of like it right up in here. It's just over to the left-hand side, pretty close to the left, and it's pretty close to the bottom. So there's your bottom corner. So it's right in here. Just get some nice texture going inside of that heart. So that's our basic position then on the heart. Let's now give the heart some shape. And we'll do that with styles right down here. Make sure you're on the correct heart layer right there. And go to styles. And we're at bevels. And that's the very top option. And you want this one here. And this is just called simple inner. Click on that. And it applies a little bevel in here. It's kind of highlight on the left hand side here. A little bit of a shadow down there. Bottom right hand side. A little bit of a bevel in there. That's the one you want. Okay. Back to layers. And now to the right you'll see a little FX over here showing up. So double click on that. And that brings up the style settings dialog box. Down here where it says bevel. Just change this to 165. There we go. There's a nice little bevel in here. Let's now brighten things up a little bit. Come back up here to our shape one, copy one. And let's go ahead and show that. And we'll fill this with a different color. Come down here to our colors right there. And in here you want one right up around in here someplace. The actual number that I've used is EC0505. Just right there, upper right hand corner. And choose OK. Grab your paint bucket and click inside. And that just fills that with that nice bright red. Let's now blend this into our layers underneath. So change your blend mode up here to soft light. And that just adds that into your colors down below. So that looks really nice. Now I want to have it a bit more dramatic than this. And we'll do that by making a copy of our main heart layer. Let's duplicate that. There we go. Notice when you do that, we lose the clipping up here on the background. So that's easy to fix. Click on that background here. Right click and create clipping mask. Puts that back inside again. Now come down to this top one of these two heart layers. And we'll blend this one into this bottom one of the two heart layers. And that will give us that nice effect. So we're here to blend modes again and come to linear dodge. There it is. What that does is that really just kind of brightens up the bright spots up there. Everything else stays about the same, just brightens up your bright spots. Okay, that part of that heart is finished. We can now come back in and work on our background heart in there. And that's this shape right in here. That's the first one we did, our larger heart. And for this, we're going to, again, give it a change in the blend mode. Go up here to blend modes and come down to overlay right there. And this is now overlaying on top of anything underneath. It's kind of hard to see here because we have a dark background. We'll see that in just a little bit. So we'll now move down to our background here. We're going to fix the background. For this, we'll need an adjustment layer above the background. So up here to layer, come down to new adjustment layer and levels. Doesn't really matter having this checked or not because it's on the background layer, so I won't even bother with that. Here's the levels, and in here, leave the left hand side at zero. Set your middle one at 1.87. And notice how much brighter the background is now that we've done that. And then on the right hand side, change this one to 128. That moves the white right down here to where the white begins at that point. It really brightens up that background. Notice also as the background gets brighter, we now can see through that dark bit back in there. So that is now working just fine. Okay, close that one down. So we've brightened up the background in here. We can now see where it says love right down there. And the heart looks good. Okay, all we have left to do is put our text up here at the top. Now it's going to be above everything else. So go up here to your top layer. And then come down to your colors. Just click on that little reverse arrow so that white is in the foreground. And let's go to the type layer right here. And instead of Edwardian script, 
and I have mine set at 72 point and centered. So come right here, just above that someplace, and just type in B mine. There we go, and let's pull that down just a bit, so it just kind of overlaps onto that heart just a little bit. So you still see the big love down here. Okay, so far so good. Last little thing to do then is to put in a glow in behind this heart to help separate that out from the background. So that's our bottom shape right here. And we'll add a glow to this shape. So I'll go up to Layer, come down to Layer Style and Style Settings, and click on Glow. And you want an outer glow right down there. And for your outer glow, let's set the opacity up quite a bit. I have mine set at 71%. We'll be changing our color right here, a little white square. Click on that. Brings up your colors. Let's change our color. It's going to be FFAFBA. Basically a light pink. Kind of the same color as we have right in there. And choose OK, light pink. And now let's bring our size out. You see as I bring the size out, get that glow happening in there, in behind the heart. You see that right there. If you go too far, it kind of gets washed out. If you're too far down, it's not enough to really be seen. So you want to bring it up so it's about, about halfway up on our scale right here. Right about there. Looks like it's about 184 on the scale. And that just gives us a nice glow in behind the heart. That helps to separate the heart out from the background and choose OK. And there it is. There is our Valentine's Day card. Let's just see how this looks large. I'll pull this out like that. Grab the magnifier, little zoom tool. There we go. Now if you see just a little thin line right around here, see that little kind of white line there? All that means is that you're on one of these shape layers. Just change the background layer and that will go away and that's how it looks. Okay, that's how to make this new Be Mine Valentine's Day card. Let's now see if we can change the look of this just by changing that background. I'm going to first hide the levels control over here and then go over to graphics and we're still on backgrounds. At this point I'm just going to scroll up a little bit and let's see what we have. Here's this one. See a whole different look. It still works and it fits in real nicely. Just more of a, a younger look, kind of a, a childish look almost. Works out very, very well though, even with that same heart in the middle there. There's one right above that. Again, a whole different look. Still works. I'd lighten the heart up a little bit on this one as well. And right over here is another one. A little more steady. And again, whole different look, but just by changing the background, you can get a whole different kind of a card. Now on this one, I would probably put a drop shadow on the text just to help separate that out from the background. Just scroll up just a little bit more. We'll do one or two more of these background changes. And here's the one right here. This one is called Flourish Heart. That also works out very well as you can see in there. So there are quite a few different options that you can use in here just by changing the background to get totally different looks. This is kind of similar to our other background. It's just a different spot, I think, on that same background bit. Let's leave that one on there. Go over here to Layers. I'll bring the option back in here again. And again, works out very nicely with this change in background. Okay, let's put it back to the original one now. I'll scroll right back down, back to that one that's just named Love. And it's down just a bit. There it is. And there's the one we used originally. So as you can see, with just this basic layout in here, you can get all kinds of different looks just by changing that background. Now, if you like this video, of course, make sure you click that like button and also share through social media. The more shares I get, the better it is for this channel. Don't forget to subscribe and to learn all about how to use the Photoshop Elements program. Look for my complete training course right down there in the description. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com.